A Muslim woman in Hilo couldn't get her driver's license because she was wearing a headscarf to take her photo. Federal guidelines allow people to wear head coverings for religious purposes or other reasons as long as it doesn't cover their face. Sarah Madison tonight explains how she was obeying the law while the county was apparently applying outdated rules. That's right, Howard and Marissa. We spoke to Lacey Toboso, and she says she was baffled at the lack of training these workers at the driver's licensing center had. She tells us she was able to get her passport with a headscarf, so she couldn't understand why it was hard to renew her license at the county level. Lacey Toboso is a practicing Muslim, so she covers the top of her head and ears with a headscarf. But when she went to renew her driver's license in February, she said she was told she had to uncover her ears or they wouldn't approve the photo. She tried explaining what she was doing was legal, but nothing changed. In a statement, Hawaii County officials say the Federal Department of Homeland Security updated its own interpretation of the requirements regarding head coverings. The updated interpretation of the law was not immediately conveyed to the state or the county. After waiting for hours, officials gave Toboso a provisional driver's license, which only allowed her to drive, but she couldn't use it as a form of identification. I'm a business owner, um, and I was trying to cash checks. I couldn't cash checks. It was extremely stressful. I spent countless hours on the phone, I, sending emails, um, trying to figure out a way to resolve this issue because I, I, I knew in my heart it wasn't right. The reason why I'm coming public regarding this matter is because I hope this never, ever happens to anyone else. The Licensing Center Division Administrator continues to add, as soon as the state and county became aware of the law interpretation of the law, Ms. Toboso was immediately issued a full, real ID compliant driver's license. Since that time, we have been consistently following that interpretation. On behalf of Toboso, the ACLU of Hawaii says it sent letters to all four counties urging them to review their administrative rules and make sure nothing can be interpreted as unconstitutional.